The jungle is ruined. It's literally ruined. It's too far gone. We can't revert it. The jungle ice caps have all melted. Never mind the 50,000 other times before today when we've claimed that League of Legends is ruined. It's actually ruined this time. Can't believe it. This is why League of Legends is dying and why Counter-Strike, Dota 2, Hearthstone, Overwatch, PUBG, Fortnite will take over. Riot, what were you thinking? Thanks for killing your game. Those are some of the things you may have heard surrounding the patch 8.10 jungle changes. Is the jungle ruined? Not really. Today I want to go over those changes, give you my opinion on them and tell you what to expect when they go live. Also, if you're watching this video close to its release, I will be streaming over on Facebook with Fire, playing some games with him, having some fun. I'll put a link to it in the description, go check it out. I'll be doing giveaways after every game as well. Come and say hi. <laughs> so, what are the jungle changes? Well, the really, 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 really short answer is that firstly, Scuttle Crab now is more valuable in both gold and experience, intended to be something that you're contesting with the enemy jungler over. And secondly, you'll get less experience from your camps early on, meaning you have to take an extra camp down to get level three. But let's rewind just a little bit here, because the first changes that were announced were not the changes that we're going to be seeing in patch 8.10. I'll put a link to these in the description, by the way, guys. If if you want to read this stuff for yourself. But basically, Riot said that their aim with these changes were to reduce early lane pressure from junglers, increase the number of jungle versus jungle interactions in the early game, and to encourage variation in optimal pathing. Now, first things first, whenever you're taking a look at the intentions from Riot, I'd always take that with a pinch of salt. Honestly, I'm not really convinced that their reworks really do too much of their intended changes. Not to say that all their reworks are terrible, but Take, for example, the Mage reworks. I would say 90% of those are basically the same champion as before they were reworked. Now, the way that Riot had intended to achieve these goals was with a big emphasis on those Scuttle Crabs, which would randomly spawn in the top river or the bot river, not two at a time anymore, and that would give them a huge experience and gold buff. Basically, it meant that going Camp Camp Scuttle would be the ideal jungle path, the problems with that though is you didn't actually know what side of the river it was going to spawn on first, so you couldn't really plan for it. But it also felt like it was strong arming these level two junglers and good early mid lane pushes as well, so that you could contest that scuttle. But like I say, that's not the change that Riot is actually putting through on 8.10. They amended that just a little bit. They made it so that Scuttle Crab will spawn in both the top and the bottom river in that first spawn, so there's no RNG element to it anymore. And it's also not as valuable in the early game, so you don't have a huge focus on contesting it right from the get-go. Its value, however, does scale as the game goes along, so it's still something you want to keep your eyes on, but just not hugely important for your first clear. I also mentioned that there were the changes in the experience. That's a pretty big thing, but I'm just going to give you my personal opinion on the scuttle changes, and then we'll talk about the XP stuff later on. So basically, in theory, I don't think it's a bad idea to have something else to fight over as a jungler than just like ganking and the big objectives. Like in theory, it's okay. I'm just not quite sure how it's going to work out in practice for two main reasons. The first reason is that Scuttle Crab is pretty bloody squishy. Yes, you do get notified on the minimap of when it's about to spawn, but unless you get there straight away, it's pretty much just going to be going down because it takes about five seconds for someone to actually kill it, especially if they have their smite. And the second reason why I'm not 100% sold on it is I feel like it's going to be less of a jungle versus jungle thing and more of a lane priority thing. You know, like which of your laners are in a good position to come and help you secure that skull crap. So let's talk about that jungle experience stuff now. What I mentioned as a TLDR is basically all you need to know. You're going to have to do a few more camps now to reach your level three, which should delay your first gank by like 30 seconds to a minute. And I actually quite like this change. I think that it's a good idea to have the junglers come online a little bit later so you can just get some more 1v1s going down. It does hurt junglers that are crap at clearing in the early game though, because now they're going to need to do an extra camp at level 2 before they hit that level 3, which might be a pretty big deal for some champions. That's not the only change to jungle camps that Riot have done though. They're also lowering the camp spawn time by 15 seconds, from 2 minutes 30 to 2 minutes 15. Now this one's a really interesting one for me, right? Because Riot said this, and I quote, they say, we want to bring back some gains encouraging more counter jungling as a response to ganks, and thus higher cost and probably less ganks early on. 
Basically, you don't want to risk losing your camps, so you don't gank as much. Personally, I'm not a huge fan of this logic because it's already a strategy on live. You know, if you see the enemy jungler gank top side, you go and invade his bot side jungle. And lower respawn times, in my opinion, means that it's actually less impactful for stealing those camps away because, yeah, you can get it, but they're going to respawn sooner anyway, so it's like the enemy jungler might not even feed it that much, right? Like, in my opinion, if you really wanted to up the anti with counter jungling, you'd make the camp spawn less frequently and maybe give them some more reward. I think that would really increase the opportunity cost of the gank and achieve what Riot is saying they want to achieve anyway. But at the same time, I'm not a game designer and that might be a terrible idea, but that's just kind of my thought. Outside of those changes, there are some tweaks to the items in the jungle too specifically. Runic Echoes now gives you a crap ton of mana back when you're clearing. Quite like this change, gives some love to mage junglers, but I don't think that it's really gonna influence caster junglers impact. Uh, on the meta right now. And also Hans Machete no longer gives you attack speed, which is actually a bit bigger than it sounds, considering it's not even documented on Riot's announcement. It will kick a bit of the bruiser physical damage junglers in the nads just a tad. It will give those champions slower and weaker first clears, which actually goes and does a decent amount of what Riot's looking to do with these changes anyway. So those are the changes and sort of my general thoughts on them, but let me give you a TLDR conclusion of what these changes will mean for you going into patch 8.10. I feel like these changes are going to do not that much, honestly, in the grand scope of things at all. The Scuttle Crab changes are going to be like playing versus a Kindred in the games. You can see when the Scuttle Crab's spawning and you prioritize your pathing to take that away. It's not going to be a make or break thing, but it is something you're going to be wanting to think about. I also don't really think it will change the meta too much because like I say, the crabs are so bloody easy to kill that it's not like you're setting up fights around them and contesting them heavily. It's really just who gets there first. Outside of that, early ganks will be delayed from around the three minute mark to probably like the four minute mark or so. The decreased camp spawn times will not influence solo queue in the slightest and the change to Runic Echoes won't make castle jungles that struggle viable, it'll just make champions like Nidalee and Eve stronger. That's basically it, lads. So honestly, not too much for you to worry about. Thanks for watching the video, guys. I hope you liked it. Thumbs up if you did, and I will see you in my next video.